First the bad news North Korea has successfully tested its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile yet. Early estimates put the range, if flattened out from the steep lofted trajectory at which it was fired, at around 13,000 kilometers 8,100 miles. The Union of Concerned Scientists says this is more than enough to put Washington, D.C., and indeed any part of the continental United States, within range. They point out that we do not know how heavy the payload was that despite Pyongyang's claim to have tested a super-large heavy warhead. The increase in range suggests it was perhaps a much lighter mock warhead, and the distance a heavier, nuclear-armed missile could travel would be shorter. Video Trump on N Korea missile launch We will handle it uncertainty also remains around the status of the re-entry vehicle, and how well or otherwise it would survive a real missile flight. New missile capable of striking entire U.S. North Korea says but this is, once again, progress, with the Kim regime proclaiming a new ICBM to add to its arsenal, which they have named the WA-15 WA means Mars in Korean. This was also a rare, if not unprecedented night launch We saw a late-night ICBM launch in July, from what appears to be a new site improving their capability to fire from different locations, at different times of the day, increases their chances of being able to get a real missile fueled and into the sky before it could be detected and attacked. Video North Korean State TV announces ICBM missile test so the bad news is pretty bad. But there is also good news. First, this ISNT is provocative as it might have been. They didnt fire over Japan, which they have done before, sending civilians there running to air raid shelters, and they didnt fire into the waters off Gom, which they have previously threatened to do, and the United States would likely interpret as a direct threat. Second, and more importantly, in the announcement of the test from the state news agency, Kim Jong-un is said to have declared with pride that now we have finally realized the great historic cause of completing the state nuclear force. Elsewhere in the statement, they said this new ICBM meets the goal of the completion of the rocket weaponry system development. Image South Korea fires a missile in a show of force following the North SWA-15 test This seems an odd, and somewhat premature claim to make given the uncertainties outlined above, but an optimistic way to read it would be that if they are prepared to declare the ICBM program complete, there might be no need to carry out more tests in the near future. Declaring victory and announcing North Korea's nuclear status achieved could give Kim Jong-un the high ground he needs to move towards talks on a freeze, at least around new missile tests, which he would be able to assure his domestic audience are no longer necessary. That would depend on President Trump and the U.S. being prepared to negotiate with an at least nominally nuclear-armed North Korea, which they have long insisted they will not do, but perhaps they could agree to disagree on whether that status has been achieved. Of course, to borrow a phrase from former U.S. Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld, there are a number of known unknowns here. Video UK can't deal with N Korea nuclear weapons we don't know, and we can't know, what is really going on in Pyongyang, the motivation behind Kim Jong UN's statement, and what Donald Trump has in mind when he says this will be handled. What we do know with absolute certainty is that the consequences of military action would be devastating. This would not be a war that is fought over there as U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham has suggested this would be conflict on a scale not seen since the Second World War, with global consequences. So any reason for optimism, however fleeting, is worth pursuing, even if it comes, as this does, on a day when North Korea is once again announcing a significant advance.